Guys, Meta Phantoms here. I'm back with Nigerian War, the newest set. It's the mini set from Crocosaur Arcane TCG. You guys gotta check them down below. I'm gonna be posting the Discord. This TCG is a work of art, literally. It's done by a well known artist from MetaZoo, but it's also just brand new TCG that you guys gotta literally check out. New gameplay styles, it's a mix of everything. This new set is pretty much concluding. Foundry of Existence set that releases a Kickstarter that you also gotta check down with all my previous videos. So this box right here is the non-alternating. This box is different compared to the regular one, which is right here. Has no seal saying non-alternating. I forget the population in these boxes, but it was pretty much an error that was printed by the printing company that the cards will be sequential. They have, they continue as the same number, so the first card you pull in that pack, the next card in that set will continue, but then the hollow will be different. So I want to see if you can pull better hits from the non-alternating or the regular one. And let's find out. Each of these, I have to cut with an X-Acto knife, I just want to make a mess with uh, the seal. It's like a plastic shrink wrap. And they do have the foundry symbol on the boxes, but I do like that. This is the non-alternating. We're also hunting a really elusive box topper, which is, in my opinion, the biggest chase in this set. But not just the biggest chase, there's also two arcane rares that are in this set that are big. One is very, actually, I'd say both are very playable. This is the regular box. We're gonna open pack by pack and go back and forth on each and see which is the better pull. So I guess you could say it's a 5v5 for packs. But these seals are pretty light to rip in my opinion. But the box quality is the best thing. They killed it with the box quality. We're going to put the box hoppers right here. We're going to start with the alternating, I mean non-alternating, and see what we pull. And you'll see the difference once I start revealing the cards. Alright, here's the first example. Cloud Fury Cyclone is 12 out of 30. Next one should be 13. Then the next one after. 14. Then the hollow will be random. No way. Already a Siege the Foundry. Arcane Rare. This box is already cracked. This is the first pa pack. I'm gonna have that one ready to go. And now we go to the regular one. Let's see what we pull. We got King's Decree. Art done by Sebastian. Beautiful art. Frenzy Sharks, you see? It did not go in order. Cloudwalker Defender, done by Poncho. And Lay Siege, Gold Rare. So there you go. So far, the alternating, I mean non-alternating is winning. Now we go non-alternating. Let's see what we get. Frenzy Sharks, see that? Continues the list, now it's eight. And then it's 11, wait, actually bounced. Eight, nine, 11. So this one's a little different, but we got Fire Anthers, Dragon Knight, Gold Rare. So it's not the same, I guess you could say. But not bad of a pull. Now we go with the regular. You think the regular can beat one arcane rally we pulled already? There should be at least a master, I think, right? You got Clear Path, Canis Disciple. You got Abyssal Bone Blade. You got Descent from the Skies, Full Hollow. Another Gold Rare. So far, I gotta admit it, not alternating is winning. We got Roots of the Elder Tree. Then it should go next number. Yep, nope, bounced off one. It's six. Bastic of the Deep. Merfolk Deserter. Ooh, we got an Arc. A Master Rare. Mysterious Visitor or Cane Seeker. There you go. This box is killing this one. Got 
Rock Shatter, Thornar's Call, Hunter Hunter Wraith. We did get a Master Rare, Armored Beast Thornar. So now we need is an Arcane Rare from the regular box and we tie. But you know the real deal is going to be the toppers. Charge of the King, number 19. And it goes 21. It's been bouncing one. Interesting. And you got Arcanist Disciple. We got Clear Path. This is Gold Rare. We got one pack left for this box. We got two for this one. It's getting close, guys. I think all non all trains gonna win. We got Cla Channel Lightning. I thought this was the other card. Charge for the King. Elven Battle Golem. Cloud Fury Cyclone Gold Rare. Three Gold Rares have been pulled from this box so far. No, four, I lied. I can't do math. Three gold rares and, arc and a master rare. This one has master and arcane. Foundry Hunter Wraith. Then it goes to 17. So this is going in order. Then it goes to 18. Revenant Captain. We got Arcanist Disciple full hollow. And that is 22. So it's not going in order after for the hollow. Last pack of magic for the regular box. I'm thinking this is the arcane rare, folks. It has to be. We got Revenant Captain. Lay Siege, Merfolk Deserter, <laughs> Merfolk Deserter, Full Hollow. So no, this one had four gold and one arcane rare. This one had an arcane rare and a master. Actually, I lied, master on this one too. All right, since none alternating is winning, we got to reveal their topper first. Boom. How many times am I gonna pull this topper, folks? This is legit. Like what? My fourth one, eighth one. I lost count. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for, the regular. We got Basilisk the Deep. Ironically, I think the uh, the non alternating won this one. Better rarities and people love more Founding Hunter Wraith or Basilisk the Deep. This artwork is the best though. It's done by Indigo. But everybody loves Void. <laughs> well, that's it for today's video. We did have better pulls with the non alternating than the regular, but I don't know if that's just proven that has better hits or what. That's it for today's video. Comment down below what you guys think, what's the better, and stay tuned for more Crocs King content.